Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSGO News. And for our first story today, I do want to touch on a CSGO gambling YouTuber by the name of Arrow who allegedly last night on a drunk stream, yes, he was drunk during this, which makes it all the more incredible. He apparently went from $200 to nearly $10,000 on a gambling website, which I'm not going to announce. I will show you guys clips of that very shortly here. Many people out there thinking it was fake because he was sponsored by this gambling site. I have no evidence against him. I just wanted to show it to all of you guys. This guy was drunk on a CSGO live stream and went from $200 to nearly $10,000 thousand dollars so I'll show you guys some clips of that right now and you guys can make your own opinion whether it's sketchy or not I do have to admit though one of the sketchy things he did was he bet on back-to-back -back greens and on the second bet he went five hundred dollars all in on green after there just was a green which is something as a gambler you probably most likely wouldn't usually do oh baby let's get it what's the prize awesome Let's go. Let's fucking go, bro. Let's what go. the fuck, man? Fucking back. I'm a fucking animal! And speaking of the downfall of Rank S, we did have Optic's very own Russ tweet out this just late last night and how Rank S has really all in all been deteriorating for quite some time now with the immaturity levels and the dedication of many pro players who are actually in Rank S really falling far short of what it should be. Now shortly after Rush's tweet, we also had Moses tweet out this clip, which I will play for you guys very shortly and it does kind of go and show you what Rank S has truly become. People who pick wrong maps and they decide to leave the game whenever they feel like it. In this instance itself, it was actually Mo TV versus Jason R. Words were exchanged and very, very, a kind of a, a funny clip, but like Moses said, a very embarrassing clip as well. We had Mo and Jason R. going back at it. Many of the pro players battering Mo because he chose Dust 2, apparently, and then Mo going after Jason R.'s look, calling him a fat F U C K, as well as calling him four eyed. You know, typical Mo comments, but at the same time, you kind of got to feel bad for Mo and what he actually gets thrown into with pro players leaving games just because he picked Dust 2 as a map choice. So here's that clip, guys, and what rank S has really become especially in the North American scene. Exit, please. Please. Stop, please. Stop, stop streaming. Please. Oh, oh, actually. No. Stop <laughs> one. Fucking day, dude. 12 years. This, ma this map's been in the fucking thing for 14 to 16 years. Hey, and you guys are still new to this map. I know. I did Get back in. No, Take the L like a fucking man. RTDC, that's unfortunate. Fuck up, Mo. We're taking the L because of your dumbass. Picking fucking exactly. Dust 2. It was Arya exactly. who picked Dust 2. Who the fuck just banned Dust 2? Yo, unpause it. Fuck this shit. We'll take this shit on. Play without me. I'm actually fucking done. What the fuck? You four eyed fuck. Get back in. Hey, fuck you, Mo. We're Being bad because of you. Yo, next time wear a shirt that fits you, you fat fuck. And while the North American scene is surely, you know, struggling inside Rank S itself, the rest of the world is making improvements, mainly in the Chinese area. We do have, of course, Perfect World, who's running the CSGO scene out of the Chinese area right now. They're also running Dota 2. You know, the big company over there running some great things as they have announced their new battle platform, which will include 128 tick servers. We can infer as of right now, community servers, deathmatch servers, Sevo face it, as well as ESEA, all over there are going to be beta tested, all in 128 tick and as of right now going forward valve has only been requested for 64 ticks still everywhere else so don't expect 128 tick anytime soon as of right now we have no knowledge of that coming to the north american or european or anywhere else seen as of right now it'll only be in china also you know that big company running dota 2 as well as csgo and the dota 2 characters you see on the screen right now that does mean for dota 2 and all you players out there as well 128 tick should be coming to you as well so perfect world and the chinese area coming soon to 128 tick they are currently in beta testing for that and making great headway as to you know improvements of the game so far and a couple more stories for all of you guys today who did not know half-life the original mod of counter-strike actually started 18 years ago today june 19th 1999. How crazy is that just to say? You know, for all you, because a majority of the fans out there who are watching right now in 2017, a majority of the CSGO audience is under 15 years of age, or right around 50% is what we get from survey results on screen for all of you guys. 1999. That means all of you 2000s babies. That's got to sound so weird. The original Counter Strike Half Life mod came out June 19th, 1999, 18 years ago today. So, congratulations to all you pro players, all you people watching right now who've been around ever since then. If you guys are 18 years or older, or if you guys have been playing CSGO for more than, you know, let's say, if you guys have been playing CSGO for more than 15 years, leave a comment down below. Let me know your details, your background. Don't give me too many details, though. Okay, that'd be creepy. Anyway, though, moving on with this, I've been watching this guy on YouTube for quite some time, and we had a Reddit post about this quite some time ago about YouTube CSGO cheaters, people who are cheating at CSGO and live streaming on YouTube who have still not yet been caught. So I really don't want to give this guy attention, but I do want to call him out because, well, he's been cheating on YouTube for quite some time. Actually, over the past month or so, he's been 
grinding to global using aimware and other cheats on CSGO. It's very, very hard to watch, especially because he gets viewers. He gets a few donations every now and again. His name is Spazzy Chickens, and let me show you guys a quick clip of this, and you guys can get the gist of what it's like to watch a cheater in CSGO. I do admit, though, it's kind of fun to watch a cheater because they often do kind of good, but this one is a pretty bad cheater, Clara. It looks like I'm not going to get Ali. Makes me want to cry. I shot him in the head. I'm pretty sure that was a headshot. Yeah, I'm losing. I think these guys are cheating as well. My mouse got stuck on my desk because I have, like, no space. And very lastly, in today's episode of CSK News, I have two stories. One involves Anomaly. I'll mention that one second. First of all, though, a great story covered by Richard Lewis yesterday. I will link this article down below for all of you. Give you a quick gist of it is scamming case opening websites. We all knew that case opening websites were a scam. Arguably not as big of a scam as Valve's case opening case opening because, you know, I actually did a case opening a couple days ago or, or just last week. And of the 100 cases I opened, I had, like, 92 blues. So, Arguably not that big of a scam, but case opening sites are certainly still a scam and they definitely are guaranteed to make money on as part of the house. Richard Lewis did cover this and to give you guys a quick background of the guy he did actually investigate or did interview, he goes by the name of David just for the interview's sake to protect his name and whoever he worked for. His website, whoever he actually managed him, at one point what they called their rigging system, you know, the, the point where they could actually change your odds as an individual player to get the two worst skins in any case you open, he actually called it rape mode. That's what they would do and every website out there can do it. If they get your individual Steam ID or whatever individual player name you are, they can really, they can literally rig your odds. And we all knew this was happening but you know, Richard Lewis did an amazing job going into great detail in this article so please give it a check out down below guys. For all of you who have been using case opening websites which I'm sure many of you guys have been, they are all rigged. Now if you guys are having luck on some websites, I understand but here's the truth behind that. Now also on top of that, end of day story of CSGO News, Anomaly lied to me. Yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. He lied. That was that was that was 99.97%. That was anomaly in those pictures. And I feel hurt. The, the dude lied to me. <laughs> but as always, thank you all so much for the great support on my OP Skins link. If you guys don't know what that is, it's the top line of the description. It's my OP Skins referral link. All you do is click on that, sign into OP Skins. It's free for you guys to do, and I get 1% of your transactions. It's a very, very small amount, but it really does add up because I have no partnership right now. And thank you all who have signed up so far. I think yesterday we broke 300 users, and that means so much to me. So thank you all who have signed up for that. And I hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode of CSK News. If you guys did, please leave a like. It means so much to me. More importantly, leave a comment because I forgot to reply to yesterday's comments. I promise you guys today that I'll reply to all the comments I can. As always, live, love, laugh, lot. Remember, I like you. I will see you all tomorrow with some very special CSGO news. Until then, remember, I like you. Goodbye.